A top story, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is en route Moscow. He will arrive later today to attend the 22nd India-Russia annual summit. He is scheduled to meet Russian President Vladimir Putin. This is also Prime Minister Modi's first visit to Russia since its invasion of Ukraine, an issue on which New Delhi has maintained a neutral stance. It also comes at a time of growing Russia-China closeness. The two-day visit is aimed at reviewing bilateral ties between the two countries, including key areas like defense, investment, energy cooperation, education and culture. As per the Kremlin, the leaders will partake in both restricted talks as well as one involving delegations. India's External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar has said that trade ties will be at the top of the agenda. This comes as India's import of discounted Russian crude has increased significantly since the war in Ukraine. Jai Shankar also pointed out towards a quote-unquote trade imbalance between the two countries. While Moscow's total exports to India are $65 billion, India's exports are only about $4 billion. India's Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatara has revealed that New Delhi is looking to expand exports across various sectors, including farm products, technology, pharmaceuticals and services. As per India's Foreign Ministry, Prime Minister Modi will reach Moscow by today afternoon at 3 p.m., following which President Putin will hold a private dinner for the Indian leader, where they are expected to discuss regional and global developments of mutual interest. Prime Minister Modi will have an in-person interaction with the Indian diaspora in Russia. Later in the day, he will also lay a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier, a war memorial for unidentified Soviet soldiers from World War I. He will then visit Russia's state-owned nuclear energy facility, Rosatom, followed by a restricted meeting with President Putin. Although India and Russia have held annual summits since 2000, none have been held since President Putin visited New Delhi in 2021. Prime Minister Modi will also talk about the Indians who were quote-unquote misled into joining the Russian army in its war against Ukraine. The Prime Minister is expected to demand an earliest discharge of these people from the Russian military. Till now, at least four Indians have been killed amid the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. At least 10 Indians have been rescued, while over 20 others have contacted the Indian mission in Moscow to seek release. Earlier in May, the Indian police arrested four Russian nationals involved in luring Indian people to Russia over lucrative job offers. Meanwhile, the Kremlin press secretary Dmitry Peskov has said that the West is closely and jealously watching the visit, adding that the press secretary said that Russian-Indian relations are at the level of strategic partnership. Our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sadan Sibyl, sends us this report from Moscow. Let's listen in. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has left uh, New Delhi for uh, Russia, where he will be present for two days with focus on the annual India-Russia summit. Now, during this summit, focus will be on convergences between the two countries when it comes to energy, defense, security, connectivity and other areas, but also issues like trade deficit and Indians in the Russian army. But all in all, this is a relationship uh, which uh, has uh, been a relationship which has seen glorious history and continues to be a stabilizing factor in the world at a time when there has been many geopolitical changes. Uh, essentially, during this visit, uh, there could be announcements on opening up of two Indian consulates in uh, Russia, but also how both Moscow and New Delhi navigate a world where increasingly challenges are increasing. With the video journalist Neeraj Patel, Siddhan Sipil for Vion in Moscow.